Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. That's Dustin. Yeah, I'm the bourbon guy. He's the bourbon guy. But wait, we got two bottles of bourbon back there. We do because there's a cool story with one of them. Okay, well, before uh, I'm excited, but this is Keith. I'm Keith. Yep. I'm, I'm kind of the ear. You're the ear. So, yeah, so. He plays guitar. He's really good at it. I've heard him. He can talk to you about music for hours and put you to sleep even. But it's usually actually really, really good information. <laughs> so, so, so tell us about, uh, these are your bottles. Yeah, this is this is a little little my bourbon here. So uh, what we're going to taste? <laughs> this is Horse Soldier Commanders Select. Mm. Um, the reason he's over there, like with I, slobber I, rolling. Sorry, I apologize. That, I need, I need this a... stuff is really. Really good. We both had it. We know how damn good it is. True. Um, it was a gift from our women's. Our women's, we have really good women's. It's true. Because this shit is 600 bucks a bottle. <laughs> and and we don't say that lightly because we, there, we we have strong feelings about expensive bourbon. There are a lot of really good bourbons at like 80 bucks. So to spend more than that, it's like, it's got to be really special. So when I learned about the price tag on this stuff and that they, I was kind of like, oh my God, what did they do? And then we tasted it. Yep, I get it. <laughs> and the worst part is, like, you can see it's getting, he's halfway through his bottle almost. When it runs out, he's going to want to get more. I am. I'm going to want to spend 600 freaking dollars on bourbon and that just hurts my soul. Is but it, I'm going to do it. I thought you only spent seventeen ninety nine on a bourbon. So seventeen ninety nine and not one penny more, or soldier people. No, seriously though, this stuff is phenomenal. It's from the gods. So I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna tell you a cool story about this bottle. Yeah. So some of you may be aware that we've told the story. If you've seen the movie Twelve Strong, yep. About basically the special operations forces that effectively conquered Afghanistan on horseback. They went into the worst areas and just destroyed, took over everything, and they did it on horseback. The guys that did that made a distillery when they got back. They're like, what the hell do we do with our lives now that we're out? <laughs> yeah, we're back. We like bourbon. Yeah. Fuck, let's make bourbon. So Dustin and I learned that the commander of ODA 595 was going to be here in Indiana selling bottles and doing... I was like, hey, Keith, you want to go uh, get some horse soldier bourbon signed? Okay. Bottle signings. Yeah. This bottle is signed by the commander of ODA 595, which is the unit that the movie 12 Strong is about. So, this one does not get opened. We are not going to be tasting this. The only people that I will drink from this bottle with is a member of the community. And you, you know people, who you are. You know who you are. And you know you're welcome here and you get some of this when you show up. <laughs> Nobody else. Right. All right. So, kind of, there's a theme here. Yeah. So we had some suggestions for tunes True. as we as we get. You guys tell us stuff to listen to. Yep. And one of our suggestions uh, was Semper Fi by Trace Adkins. <laughs> okay. Jarhead. Yes, you are. I, I'm a jarhead, so... Thankfully. We thought, or at least I thought, hey, let's pop open some, some real good... Uh, patriotic military bourbon i love it and i'm not I'm ever gonna say no to that and he's gonna pour this one because it's his bottle so here's the glasses sir <laughs> and, and we're gonna check out semper fi by trace adkins which you guys requested yeah um so here we go we will get started on that while i pour <laughs> He sat in that long line of 
barber chairs And the sergeant asked him, son, would you like to keep your hair? He said, yes, sir, as he heard those clippers buzzing home. The sergeant said, well, hold out your hands, because here it comes. <laughs> Semper Fi, rock, do or die. So gone ho to go and pay the price. So here's the leathernecks, devil dogs and jarheads, and Paris Island in July. Simplify. I been, was. I've been there. I was at Paris Island in July. It sucked. <laughs> Had a buddy that worked. I Island. sleep in my bed instead of a foxhole. I've never heard my boss tell me. That's the silent drill team yeah. from eighth and I. Okay. All you people watching this, if you have not gone uh, here on YouTube and search for eighth and I drill team, do it. Those dudes are awesome. Are they the same team that does Arlington? No. Okay. Uh, that's a different. That's a different unit. The the drill team at eighth and I, man, those guys are amazing. Well, that plane was cool too. Too. Ooh, fucking raw. That was a cool. I, I'm all full of moto, man. I want to. I, I want to go put my plate carrier and my helmet and my nods on. <laughs> I'm all full of moto now. I want to get. I want to get a, a Marine Corps sticker. Put it on my car. Oh my god. I don't even have one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like. I'm like all motoed up. Ooh, raw, simplified. That was a good song. That was a great song. Cool video he, too. He killed it. Yeah, he really did. That was that was really cool. What's funny is um, a lot of the guys I served with obviously listen to country music. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, man. A bunch of these guys were from like uh, you know southeastern Ohio and stuff. Why aren't they subscribing? I don't know. They might. Well, come on, man. You hold them back. I can give them shit on Facebook. You should give them shit with this song. I, I, Just I should. Ura and tag them. I will. I will do that. There you go. Yeah, this is going to go on my Facebook. It's tribute. And I'm I'm going to tag all those jarheads from from West Virginia and Southern Southern Ohio and be like, 
Why didn't y'all tell me the song existed? So, I've heard you use Jarhead a lot. Uh-huh. I assume that relates to the helmet. No. Uh-huh. So the idea is Marines are so dumb because when we get to uh, the island, they, they unscrew our heads, pull our brain out, and put it in a jar. And you don't get it back. And we get it, they get it back to us when we get out. <laughs> what happened to yours? Uh, so what about Lost in supply. Leather- <laughs> Leathernecks. <laughs> Yeah, so back in way back in the when early uh, days of the Marine Corps, they actually wore a kind of uh, leather collar as a form of on armor. Really, around their necks, yeah. Okay. Because you know they were shipboard. There were a lot of bladed fighting back then. Still. Okay. So yeah. All right. There's one more. What? Devil dog. <laughs> so uh, at the Battle of Bellow Woods. In uh, World War One, there are a couple of great quotes that came out of there. One was uh, there was a Marine Colonel, and they were moving through, moving into Bellow Woods while a bunch of Allied forces were retreating, and uh, the uh, the Allied forces said, "Where are you going? Don't you know we're retreating?" And the colonel replied, retreat hell, we just got here. <laughs> <laughs> the other is that uh, the Marines fought so fiercely at Bellow Wood that the Germans started calling us Tufelhunden. Which is devil dog in German? Devil dog in German. Okay. So. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so that, that's kind of the, the backstory for all those. It doesn't feel right reviewing this bourbon, man. What? Cause it's so freak. It's it is a fine bourbon. It's unbelievably good. Yeah. Like, I get why it's their commander select. I would be hard pressed to counsel somebody to open up their wallet and dump out six hundred freaking dollars for a bottle. True. I would counsel you to open your wallet and dump out six hundred dollars for that. It's really good, guys. I mean, it's it. It is a truly fine bourbon. Like, in terms of enjoyability, I put it up there with, like, $1,000 scotches and shit, which I've had. And you have. I actually have, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's an amazing bourbon. Yeah. Um, almost Pappy 20 quality. Almost. 20 or 23? The 20 is better than the 23, in my opinion. What? Yeah. I've only had the 12, so... Yeah. Pretty... I haven't had the opportunity Huge yet. leap between the 12 and the 20. Yeah? Yeah. It's like... I think, you've, I think I've heard you say it's like iced tea. It, it so is. So, I, I get it, though. I, under, I, I... So, that resonates with me now. Yep. So smooth. Yeah. And what's the proof on this stuff? That's a good question. Should be 95. Yeah, 95. 95. All right. Um, the reason most uh, horse soldier is 95 proof hmm. because of ODA 595. That's right. Which is cool. That's just cool. So they cut it down. They cut it down on purpose to, to 95 proof. And it. Tastes like iced tea. It's so good. This is really smooth. I have no idea how long they age it, um, but it's it's amazing stuff. I'm really interested to see what happens. I think this year or last year, they opened up a new, brand new distillery in Kentucky. Ooh. I think. either Because this is from Florida. They're a Florida distillery. Right now. But I thought I heard that they were opening new ground and. Kentucky. I could be completely wrong. If you know, put it in the comments so we yeah, have it tell us. so we can remember. Um, but yeah, great, great tune. Uh, great tune. Phenomenal bourbon. Astonishing bourbon. Yeah. And the two pair together excellently. Yeah. So hey, if you enjoyed this video, uh, ooh rah. If you enjoyed this video, uh, mash that like button. Give us a subscribe so you find out when we're dropping. New videos, you get a notification. Um, most of all, uh, in the comments below, tell us what you want us to listen to. Tell us what you want us to drink. And 
you know, if it's something, we're actually kind of looking for more obscure stuff now. Not necessarily $600 shit, but, yeah. um, you know, things that... Uh, you we know, haven't had. We're looking for those things, those bottles that are just outstanding bourbons that nobody really knows about. Yeah. And there's a lot of that out there to discover. There really is, and that's um, the main reason I buy bourbons so much. It's because I'm like, hey, I've never tried that. I've heard maybe one or two things about it. I'm going to try it, right? Another thing, though, so good bourbon is meant to be shared with good friends. And this video is meant to be shared with your good friends, too. Yep. Share it. Share it. Help us out. Hey, until next time, Semper Fi.